people, or for humanity in general. Hard to believe that such a little thing can command dozens of men and such fear and respect. Whenever she mentions my people, there's hatred and resentment. What did they do to her? Maybe we should ask about resistance, yeah. She's a man. Why haven't you joined the resistance? The shepherd asks same thing. Why not join resistance? How quickly they forget how they treat Banda before. How they look down on us. Call us mole man, mud dweller, snub snout and soil monkey. The magical treat Banda much the same as human treat Banda. Like muck underneath toenail, like filth. I have no love for resistance. I have no use for resistance. But resistance fight Azadi, fight human. So I sell you weapon and food and medicine. And I don't fight resistance. The enemy of my enemy is, well, not friend, but at least not enemy. <laughs> Seems fair enough, honestly. Um, Hard to believe that such a little thing. I hear you run the Mercurian underworld. You hear, you hear, is where I belong. Underworld in Burrow is my natural habitat. But there's more to it than that. You run a criminal empire. Empire. Only human have empire. Only human be empress of empire. Me, I run business. Business in Burrow, underground, underworld. It's an impressive feat for one so small. Spoken like big human. Size not matter. Size irrelevant. Is strength elsewhere? In head, in heart, in mouth. Lucky me. The mole is strong in head, in heart, and especially. Whenever she mentions my people, <laughs> I should continue my... Whenever she... The Azadi soldiers. They attacked your village? Probably shouldn't mention this, In brightest this, day, they come and we scurry. Human never good sign. Human always trouble. But never like this. Never like this. We scurry into Burrow and we close hatch and we sing softly to earth to make new tunnel just in case. Just in case. But a Zardi soldier, they have scheme. They are clever. They cover every hole. And they throw fire into burrow. Fire that make black smoke. Children, the old, the weak, many suffocate. The rest, we are blind. We cry. We crawl upward, out of burrow. The Azadi wait for us with club and sword and spear. They laugh while they murder. We try plead. They only laugh. I stumble. Sword snip my ear. Not hear so well in here now. I knock head. Fall into dreamless sleep. When I wake, my world gone. All because of Azadi. All because of your people. I should continue my assignment. Probably should. I must leave. Good. Moon moving. Night only has so many hour. I like her. She seems, you know, pleasant. You know, pleasant is not quite the word, but honest. Honest and rather straightforward. It's much more easy to deal with than, you know, very much lying or very deceptive characters. So, uh, we have the optional seek out his family house in the bones. Or seek out his family in the bones. I think I want to do that for now. So, my idea is that uh, at the start of the next set, I can then just, you know, burn the. burn or explode the weapon shipment. 
because otherwise, you know, I'm not gonna have done the uh, the optional at all. So I'd like to have done that. That does <laughs> require me finding it though, <laughs> which I have no idea how long it might take or what I'm looking for, and that's kind of the problem with that. Even if it gave you a tiny marker, you know, it would be pretty helpful. Okay, so we're here, and it's also like, okay, what is the bones? Like, is it that whole, is it this entire big section here? Is it, you know, uh, am I supposed to remember where some of this stuff is? Should I maybe go to a journeyman inn? Because apparently it's here. And an inn might be a place to find people. And I haven't gone to this corner yet. That might be Arn Stont's young widow. Well. Pardon me, mistress. I'm looking for the Stont widow. I'm Gerdy Stont. Who are you? I... I knew your husband. He was a brave man. Knew him? How did you know him? We met in Friar's Keep, mistress. On the night of his death. He saved my life. I'm sorry I could do nothing to save his. You saw him? That evening? He asked me to visit you. To tell you that he... He loves you. And then you left him to be tortured to death by those bastards. I swore not to take an innocent life. They told me he begged for death. You could have granted him a clean and honourable journey to the night side. But instead you just left him there. Don't talk to me about honour. You have none. Leave us be. <laughs> well, that was nice. Stomp's widow. She wants nothing to do with me. So if I hadn't done that, then... There aren't a lot of people out at night. Maybe I could have to be gained something from her? I don't really think so honestly but can we go in the here journey, this place was used by the resistance they now gather at the rooster and kitten down by the south gate instead well mm, it's a rather big loop back now isn't it <laughs> it's pretty much the other side of town uh I was just going to say, I don't think there's a real step down from here, but... Oh well. <laughs> around and around we go. So yeah, we just have to get rid of the weapon shipment now, which... Involving some kind of fire. Assumingly something that's lying just around it, which I don't know. Oh wait, that's a dead end. I should I feel like I should know this place by now. <laughs> I'm also very curious why it sometimes just seems to give you that marker or that something is there. When honestly it really just doesn't seem that way, but Okay, getting there. Just checking that there's nothing we can get here for now. Nope. It, it just really seems... Again, there's the marker, like what is it pointing at? Pointing here. Or at least that's what it seems like. There's nothing with the tree. Th it just kind of seems to be pointing everywhere and nowhere at the same time. <laughs> Not exactly helpful. So I'm gonna ignore those, I suppose. <laughs> At least for now. It's hard to do though. <laughs> it's 
especially if they keep popping up. Um, and there's not <laughs> any way up from here other than the path where I came from. So yeah, I'm just thinking like I everything else that I seemingly needed was right around that little square. Would they really require you to get something from somewhere else in town? Just for that little objective? It just really doesn't seem logical uh, from a game uh, design perspective at least. But, you know, up here like this just nothing that really stands out, at least to me at this point. Maybe something really stands out to you guys? Or to some of you? <laughs> but currently, believe me, <laughs> not to me. I mean, the cursor also just really doesn't... The construction of the tube network appears to be picking up pace. ...go anywhere that I've not pipes looked everywhere, at. And the laborers work into the night. It goes here. The tubes, which is nothing new. Can't go up those steps. And then the pipes are manufactured pipes. both locally and in as I'm sure we'll learn more, more about pipes those tubes as well. soon enough. Right now we have other concerns. We Steel got nails. The nail from there. From while my veil is active, they cannot wreck if I'm quiet. Their eyes glide off me, and I remain invisible to them. An Earhardian veil can be very effective. Just the oil here. Leviathan oil. They hunt the great beasts for this precious fluid. It's used as illuminant and for lubrication. Leviathan oil. They hunt the so great beasts for this I'm precious fluid. It's a, piece of it's a piece of flint used in assembling a flintlock musket. black powder. It's quite explosive and is a piece of polished Azadir flint. I mean, okay, so we have the oil barrel. Uh, of things we can potentially use that it lets us interact with. We have that oil. And just gonna get spotted again by that guy. So let's just stand here. We have that guy. We have the nail on the oily rope, which we put down. Am I supposed to just put black powder there? Okay. The crate won't burn on its own. I need to ignite it with something Well, more then flammable. it should just be this. Yeah. God, fuck my life. <laughs> it just wants the black powder there, not what I had in mind. Seems kind of obvious, but I just wasn't sure it was enough to actually spark the, the oil. Well, you know. Did that do it? <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay, did we get spotted? <laughs> Or did he see it? Well, if we do it now... Oh, you can just do it from a distance. That's rather convenient. Did we not get spotted now? up with that he probably won't stray from his route <laughs> I'm confused by what just happened because it it goes it burns and it blinds us How 
what what happens if we stand here? Far enough away? Yes, no. But also what is that sound? <laughs> I honestly don't know what's happening. So what if we just keep running away? I know nothing. Okay, you're supposed to run away. Gotcha. Also, I don't think it explodes. <laughs> but you know, sure. Okay, so now we're... It's apparently a blue card's all over here. <laughs> of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Uh, so, it's the rooster and kitten, which is... Oh, just up here, actually. Well, I guess that, uh, you know, we can just go up here and meet them. But I am going to say that I'm going to do that next time. The rooster and kitten. Ulvik, the barkeep, is friendly with the resistance. The rooster and kitten. It's a pretty fun logo. Just look at it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Ooh. It's a bit intimate. So let's leave it like that, shall we? <laughs> uh, okay, well, that was a bit silly. That, that took me that long to figure out that combination. <laughs> but I figured, uh, you know, there wasn't enough chance for a spark to actually catch fire. But, you know, that, that was my reasoning. Uh, I was just thinking we need some tinder or something, but no. Uh... Right, anyway, we got that done, so next time we move on to bigger <laughs> next plans. Uh, probably, I'm going to expect, still to be in this city. Uh, probably we'll move to the, the bigger areas, because there did seem to be some buildings which seem like you would be able to go in them, or there would be something there. Uh, it just seemed made that way, but maybe it's just, you know, uh, coincidence, or I'm just completely mistaken. Uh, but I'm very curious what's going to happen, yeah, in the uh, coming times, and also how long this section is before we actually get to play with Zoe. I'm, I'm considering the title, considering it's called, the, or this book is called Rebels, maybe just towards the very end, but we'll just have to see. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.